I am Ashley from Ashley and Brenda. Thank you for joining us today. Well, actually, as you can see, it's just me. Brenda's back at school in Lubbock, so she'll be filming from where she lives, and I will be filming here, obviously. Um, we'll both be running this channel. When we, when we get a chance and an opportunity to film together, we will film as much as we can just to make sure this stays our channel. But she'll be filming on her days, and I'll be filming on mine with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This is the look I have on today, so if you're interested in this look, please continue watching. But like I said, guys, this is a channel for me and Brenda to express ourselves. You know, we really both do enjoy makeup. This from the heart. And we just want our channel to grow. And we would really appreciate you if you show us some love. And subscribe to our channel down below and give this video a like. Just tell me that you liked it. So like I said, guys, without further ado, if you want to see how I got this look today, please continue watching. Like I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, okay? First things first, I'm going to be using my uh, primer. I already did prime my face. I use the NYX Pore Filler Primer, NYX Photo Loving Primer, and also I did the Smashbox 24 Hour Shadow Primer, but I put that obviously on my eyelids to get everything done. I already did prime my face and my eyelids, so I'm not going to show you applying this. Just know that my trusty friend is this scotch tape. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put, apply these tapes under my eyes. Apply this tape under my eye, kind of connecting at the end of my eyebrow, but leaving some room. So first to start off with, I'm going to go in with the shade Peaches and Cream just to get the base on my eyes started. I'm going to go in with this nice, uh, kind of like a fluffy dense brush from Real Techniques. And I'm honestly just, I just grabbed whatever brush I thought would be better for this and I thought it was this one. So I'm just going to put that all over my, like, under my brow, all over, all over. So next I'm going to be using this e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to get the shade Candid Peach and kind of apply that on the outer V of my eye. So just creating a V going back and forth. I'm just going to start, start out and work my way in. Using the same brush, I'm going to go into a little bit of darker shade. It's like a brown color. It's in the shade Summer Yum, and I'm going to get that just on the bottom part of this outer area, just the bottom section for now. All right, now that is mainly, now that is mainly on the outside, we're gonna go and bring it also inside with a bit more product, not too much. We're just gonna get this top here and blend it up just so it's a bit more fady. I'm gonna use this brush and get a little bit of Peach Pit. It's like a darker purple color and put that I'm just going to so I'm taking a peach pit and I'm drilling it right on the outer corner. And I say drilling because it's probably not good to do this with my eye, but I think this adds a little bit more dimension. So I'm just kind of drilling it in the outer area just to add a bit more dimension. Now that's Straight in, we're just going to drag it out a little, but literally not that much. Alright, now we're going to go in with a uh, white peach and put that under our brow. And next, using the bottom of this brush and also the Smashbox Primer Water, I'm going to spray the bottom of this brush and kind of just get it wet so it can pick up the product more. I want this to be a very pigmented, shimmery shade. With Puree, put that on my brush and go right in here, starting in the center, working my way in.
get the bottom section of this brush or another blending brush and kind of make sure it stays blended while you work your way in. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take off the tape. As you can see, what the tape does is make it a line here and a line here. We're going to clean up this line still. Do not worry about if your line looks a little crooked because mine do all the time, especially right here on this eye. Guys, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyeliner. It's hardiest um, double-ended eyeliner, and this is just how it looks like. Boom. Love it. Love it so much. Such a good, such a good eyeliner. So we're going to go ahead and create our wings on both Alrighty, now that I've done the eyeliner for this look, I'm going to go ahead and do the mascara. The mascara I'm going to be using today is the Roller Lash by Benefit. Go ahead and start with my foundation. This is the L'Oreal Paris' foundation. I have the Infallible Total Coverage and Infallible Pro Matte. So I just went ahead and I already had this in the shade 107 and it's really dark for me and this is 305 and it's very light for me. I've already tested this on my face and it does work out for my skin tone. It works perfectly fine, everything looks good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these together. Like I said before, I've already put on my um, primer. So I'm just gonna go in with this and of course a Real Techniques little blender here. Alright, that is how the foundation came out. It is full coverage. It's very nice. It's not heavy. It does look a little bit heavy, but it really doesn't feel that heavy on my face. But that's okay. Next thing I'm going to be using is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And if you know me, I live and breathe this concealer. This is the shade medium. And I'm going to apply it under my eyes, like so. I'm going in with the same sponge. I'm going to dab it very precisely. I want it to make sure it goes where I put it and nowhere else. So I'm going to dab it slowly and precisely at the same time. Alrighty guys, now that I have mixed in the concealer perfectly, I'm going to be going with my Airspun Loose Powder. Go in with a different sponge here. And it's kind of damp, but mostly dry. I'm going to grab it here and uh, apply it under my eye. What this does is, this is going to set your concealer to make sure it does not move and it does not crease. And what we're going to do is leave it here to bake while we work on the rest of our face. You can see where I put said air spoonless powder at. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for now. Alright, it has been a good minute now, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove powder. Now I'm going to go in with the Hula Bronzer and get this little angle brush and bronze. <laughs> and 
this definitely brought some color back into my face that I really needed, okay? I'm gonna make this bronze a little bit more sharp. I'm gonna be using this small detailed brush from Real Techniques and getting this Summer Yum back in. I'm gonna get really close so you can see what I'm doing. Putting it under my eye. Go in with peach pit and get just the inner corner of that. Double ended eyeliner. This is the pencil section. So we're gonna go in right on our waterline with that. We're gonna get the smaller version of the roller lash and we're gonna hit that with our under our bottom lashes, of course. So Okay, last thing I'm gonna do to my eyes is apply these falsies, but I'm not gonna do that till the last video just because it does take me a bit longer and I don't want anything else to distract me from thinking about putting those eyelashes on because it's a very important step. So for my highlighter today, I'm going to be using Becca in the shade Opal and don't wanna spend $20 on a fan brush. with my giant Cheekathon palette because I really do not own any blushes so I'm gonna go with this palette. I'm gonna go in with the shade Dandelion. With this Too Faced Melted Chocolate Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Milkshade. Today I'm gonna be using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive. Anyways, I'm going to be using one of these Exaggerate Multi-Pack Eyelore London in the shade N140 if that will ever focus. Okay, I just popped the eyelashes on and now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And this is the completed look. As you can see, everything looks nice, my opinion. So guys, if you want to see more videos like this, please come again and watch brenda's section of the video watch my section of the video we are trying really hard to make all these videos for you guys we're trying to express ourselves and have just your support that'd be truly so amazing so go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of me and of brenda